Today, a favourite of pro wrestling dojos around the world. This is the Gotch Bible, otherwise known as the Deck of Cards workout. Uh, so I think what I like best about this is you can do it anywhere. Uh, if you've got a hotel room or just a bit of space at home, pure bodyweight workout. Uh, all you need is 52 cards. Now, Carl Gotch, for those who don't know, legendary figure in pro wrestling, he was known as the god of wrestling. Uh, but uh, more than that, he was someone who transcended amateur wrestling and pro wrestling. Uh, he brought them together, particularly in, in Japan, where he uh, was a wrestler and booker for New Japan. Uh, now, Carl Gotch was someone who was a massive proponent for calisthenic workouts rather than strength. So rather than using weighted resistance exercises, we're talking about body weight. Now, in particular, there are uh, four exercises we're going to use today and and this is my own spin on it a little bit different to what you might see in different dojos uh, but these are bodyweight exercises that include hindu squats hindu push-ups and a couple of variations of these the first uh, exercise we're going to do today is a hindu push-up now hindu push-up is a push-up with our legs wide we want to keep them as wide as we can hands are going to be shoulder width apart just like this now we like to start in i guess it's similar to a downward dog position in yoga, so head in line with my arms. Now the first thing I want to do is bring my elbows down to the mat. So I'm going to bring my elbows down, my head and nose are going to trail the mat into an arch position. So this is the top position. I want to make sure while I'm doing this I'm not resting my knees on the ground, I want to keep the resistance uh, on my body. So from here I need to then reverse my way back up, sitting back so I'm keeping my hips back. And that's one rep. So again, elbows down, trail the mat with your nose into an arch, reverse the position. So Hindu push-up is our first exercise. Our second is a reverse Hindu push-up. The reverse Hindu, very similar, starting in our original position. We're going to go into the arch first, leaning over our hands, and then bring our way up the mat. So we're going complete reversal of the first Hindu push-up. Third one is a Hindu squat. So Hindu squat, we need to make sure that we're pushing through the balls of our feet. Our hands come down, we scrape the mat, so we need to hear that noise. My heels are coming slightly off the mat, but I don't want to be resting too much on my toes. So just slightly off the mat, chest up, hands up for balance. Down and up. And the final one, a little bit different to what you see in a lot of places. Uh, this is a variation of a, a jump squat. Sometimes I see people and they'll go uh, squat and jump straight up into your next one. With this one, it's gonna be a fast back and forth motion. So we're jumping full into our Hindu squat, straight into our next one. We just keep it moving. So nice and shallow, but nice and quick with this one. Okay, the way I like to program these four exercises is using the deck of cards one person from the group will turn a card over now depending on the suit they get that's the exercise we're going to use so if you shuffle the deck properly you could get the same exercise several times in a row and it's really just luck of the draw as you go now the what we're going to use today and this is the way i like to use it is we're going to use our clubs for hindu squats so if you turn over and get a club read the figure on the on the card so 10 we're going to double that so for any leg based exercise double it up so 20 hindu squats if we were to turn over and get a heart we're going to turn that into a hindu push up we're going to read it at face value so just 10 hindu push ups diamonds we're going to use a reverse hindu push up and again face value so that's 6 and then finally, we have the spades. Spades, we're going to use our jump squats. Again, doubling up because it is a leg exercise. So that will make 20 of our jump squats. And finally, every deck will have two of these two joker cards. Now, these can be your wild card. You can do whatever you like with these. Some people like to triple the previous card. Some people like to set an actual repetition. So today, I'm going to set the first joker being 40 Hindu squats. The second joker being 20 Hindu push-ups. I should also mention that if you flip over a face card, an ace will count for 11, a jack for 12, a queen for 13, and a king for 14. Please feel free to modify this. So if you would like to use back to back, arm, arm, arm exercises, chest, 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 leg, 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 it's up to you. You can mix them up. You can even add kettlebells for extra resistance, uh, or you, you can use things like forward rolls and back rolls. 
The choice is yours, be as creative as you like, depending on your goals with your pro wrestling training. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.